Most places other than the U.S., you travel in the Caribbean and places like that, every home would have what they would call a cistern or something sure. outside. If you go to Hawaii, they have thousand gallon ones in the backyard. So it really is kind of a Midwest city thing that we're some of the only people in the world who really aren't used to doing this, correct? Sure. Grandparents used to have barrels. They used to have the old wooden barrels that they would mm -hmm. use to collect water. Um, we have just gotten in a mindset, you know, we've got so much water in the Great Lakes, we've got this mindset that it's not going to run out, where in fact we're one of the few places in the world that is not experiencing droughts. And so, um, you know, we need to be more aware of the fact that. You know, this is a responsibility. It's just, it's not something to do only for conservation. It's a responsibility that we have. These are drums that we get from Coca-Cola Company. Mm -hmm. They've partnered with us and they've donated all these barrels, all the barrels that they have that they make their syrup, their Coca-Cola syrup into um, soda pop for us. Um, they've donated the pot or the barrels so that we can we use these for our wing barrels. You really only need the barrel, you need the spigots, which you can buy anywhere, Lowe's, Home Depot, That's whatever, right. and something to connect this to. I mean, as a whole, the thing will not take more than, I would say, an hour, if that, to put it all together. We can do these in about 10 minutes. If you live in the city of Grand Rapids, you can give us a call at Wemiac and we will set you up with a rain barrel workshop. We're asking people to learn how to make them and then host their own rain barrel workshops in their neighborhoods. So, yeah, any resident of the city of Grand Rapids can host a party in their neighborhood.